All right. The feeling is the secret when it comes to manifesting with the law of assumption. Okay. Or manifesting with any anything in general. Okay. Now, the feeling is not meant by an emotion. Okay. You don't have to feel high and happy all the time to manifest. The feeling is a knowing that you are. Right. So if you flip in your mind the law of assumption to the law of being. Right. You don't feel ecstatic or you don't feel a certain way because you have a phone or you have, you know, that job. I mean, maybe when you first got it, you felt a certain way. But the point is, you know, it's yours. You know, you have it. So that's the secret. Okay. So when applying the law of assumption, the key really is to get yourself into the state of the feeling of the wish fulfilled. If you're doing affirmations, I've found the best way to do this is to claim as a present tense feeling that you are that now. Don't reason with your reasoning mind as to why you're not. And the, and the way that I've found that the best way to do this is to understand and acknowledge that currently you are not that. Currently you acknowledge that your reality is not showing you that, right? So you remove the reasoning mind when you accept that. You accept your circumstances as they are now. And then you decide as of this moment to claim something different about yourself. And you persist in that, right? That's, the, that's, that's going down the route of affirmations. If you want to go down the route of visualization or imagining, if you imagine something, right? If you visualize something, look at that act of visualization or imagining and see it as truth because you are your imagination, right? You're not Bill, you're not Sarah, you're not fucking Kate or whatever it is, right? You are your imagination and all these other labels are just things you've put on top of I am, Right? So rename yourself. And by renaming yourself is all really it is. is just a shift into a new state, right? So persist in dwelling in the state that you wish to be, okay? And that's what manifests, right? So if you visualized or imagined something, don't then go, oh, okay, well, you know, start looking at how shit your life is again. No, realize that if you imagined it and you felt the vividness of that, or if you claim something, Accept that, right? Accept it. Accept that you've experienced it, right? Accept the experience of it. As like a memory. If you imagine something in your mind's eye and you feel it in the present tense like you're experiencing it, and then you go about your day and you start thinking, well, it hasn't happened or whatever, just realize, no, but I experienced it in my mind, right? But I experienced it in my, in my mind's eye, which is you. Yeah. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you grab a copy of my new audiobook, Beyond Boundaries. The link's in my bio, yeah? Peace, power, prosperity, and love always.